Complaints are piling up against a Milwaukee furniture restoration store. Wisconsin's Consumer Protection Agency tells us it received five complaints related to Cream City Restoration. And as consumer investigator Kristen Byrne reports, customers are flooding social media with bad reviews, demanding refunds after paying for a service they say they never received. This is what was return to me. Karen Friedberg says Milwaukee's Cream City Restoration consigned a pair of her mid-century modern sofas. My couches are like completely, I mean, they were literally gutted. She wanted them refinished, then sold. And she says after nearly a year of nothing happening, she asked for them back. And one is definitely not my couch. This is what she says she got along with a handwritten receipt noting the couches had been taken apart. I looked on Facebook and happened to start reading Facebook reviews and saw that there were so many stories that were similar to mine. People are complaining about missing furniture, missing money, and about poor communication, some even from different states. It's the same with Google reviews and Better Business Bureau complaints. The consumer agency gave the furniture store an F rating. Besides Karen Friedberg, other consigners, buyers, or people who used Cream City Restoration for shipping wanted to talk with the I-team. We have not received any money from him, no concrete time frame. Buyer Casey Leaf and her fiance say they're out about $2,500 for a pair of mid-century modern chairs they bought in November and never received. They were told they would get the chairs next month. I don't care about getting the desk back. Um, I just want my money because I have to refund the customer. Small business owner Eliza Brooker says she's out $17.50 for this desk and the costs for shipping it to one of her clients. She hired Cream City Restoration to do that, but says her client never received it. I just don't want this happening to anybody else. And customer Maggie Kerr says she's out at least $500 she paid for work that she says was never finished to several of her chairs. And then this chair is just complete this is how we got it back just completely trashed look at that cream city restoration is no longer operating at its downtown location on water street and when we called the listed number the mailbox is full and it won't accept a message the voicemail instructed us to email the company instead which we did the owner responded telling us his attorney would be in touch and I'm still trying to be patient. So are others. And then he just started ghosting us. Many of these clients can't reach the owner, or if they do, they can't seem to reach a resolution. We just are really saddened by the experience. We are excited to be supporting a local business, and um, it just really sours the experience. I'm consumer investigator Kristen Byrne. And now Kristen's done a lot of digging on this and she's continuing to hear from upset clients of Cream City Restoration. I caught up with her yesterday so she could fill us in. So Kristen, you have some updates for us. What's the latest on this case? So we didn't hear back from the owner's attorney, but I did speak with the bankruptcy attorney for Cream City Restoration, and he told me he was hired to help shut down the business. So right now he's in the process of getting names on everyone, missing money or missing furniture. If that's you, you can reach out to him and you'll find his email address under the story on our homepage, tmj4.com. So how long will it take to get this all resolved? I'm glad you asked that. So it's a process here. This attorney telling me that if you are missing furniture, likely about a month, but to get your money back, it may take up to four months. And people watching this, they might be wondering what are the best steps to take if they find themselves in a similar situation. So use a credit card. We cannot say it enough because it offers more protection. Another option that's going to court, of course, right? Yes, so that is an option. If the amount in question is less than $10,000, you can always file a small claims action. But to file in Milwaukee, for example, there's about a $100 fee, and not everyone wants to pay that. Okay, so then next, what about reporting it to a consumer agency? So filing complaints with the Better Business Bureau or with our state's consumer protection agency called DATCAP can help you in the end. Those agencies will contact the company, which may end with a resolution. With DATCAP, the state agency will also investigate the business in question to see if any rules or laws were violated. In this case, I want to mention involving Cream City Restoration, DATCAP could not comment or confirm any potential investigations. Okay, some really important background stuff here. Thank you, Kristen. Absolutely.